Hello fellow spuds and welcome back to the adventures of Logan Stone in the zombie apocalypse. It has been pointed out by a <laughs> a commenter that Logan has been sleeping on a mattress this whole time in a Oh, I don't think it's a I don't think it's a dirty storage container, but he's been sleeping on a mattress on the floor. So I think it's high time that we actually just make him a bed. So I've got a load of planks, I've got some nails, I've got the carpentry level. That's just doesn't make him an actual bed. Let's raise it slightly off the ground. A little bit more comfort. I think it's still average quality, but it's it's representative more of anything. And before anything else, let us dye our hair back to black because I I didn't really like the uh, <laughs> the uh, light brownness. I I prefer the, I prefer the black. And um, yeah, I think what I'm gonna do as well is I'm gonna just cut his hair a little bit, just a little bit, because um, I don't think the Fabianness is is great for him. Just cut it short. There we go. Just make him a little bit more like he, like he, like he used to be, like his old self. So today, when no messing around, I've harvested the potatoes that we've got, and I've left the rest to hopefully flower if need be. I need to go to sleep. But what I'm planning on doing is, is I'm going to go on a massive exploration. I'm going to go to some of the surrounding warehouses. I'm going to basically cover the surrounding area. I'm going to nip into I think it's called Dixie, which is south of here, past where the country club was. And we're going to try and at least make a little stronghold there is, is the overall goal. Just so that we can do a little bit more. Because I'm getting a little bit tired of Riverside. It's, uh, it's, it's almost like getting bored of the same four walls. And the other thing is I'm very, very nearly up to fitness level 4. So really excited about that. I think it's level 5 when I lose the outer shape perk. I'm not 100%. So we've still got a little bit to go. But we're doing well. We're doing well. The other thing before we actually head off what I'm planning on doing is I need to double check the hood of the car because I'm slightly worried I've damaged it slightly so I might need to fix that up. I'm bringing a sawn off shotgun as it was pointed out last well the couple of episodes ago when Logan went on a little rampage. A sawn off shotgun probably would have been better for how close I was up to the zombies so I'm gonna just bring a short sawn off just in case it all goes haywire. Uh, yeah the hood's not great. Okay that's repair. Uh, do do do. Chance success one hundred percent. Okay, cool. Okay, so that's a lot better. Seventy six. We don't want we don't want that to break. So uh, I'm gonna leave that as is. Uh, how are the tires doing? Tire pressure. Let's inflate. Let's inflate all the tires. I just want to get the uh, car as nice and working as possible. Okay, there we go. And let's add some gas. Don't want to take the trailer with us. I think it'll probably just slow us down if anything else. Right then, let's uh, head off. Put the actual lights on this time, that'll be nice. Oh, there we go. Because everyone keeps commenting saying, why aren't you putting your headlights on? And honestly, half the time I forget, and half the time I... Originally, I thought they attracted more zombies if you had the lights on, like if you keep your lights on in your house. However, apparently it doesn't. The engine attracts them, and the light doesn't really do anything more than that. So, yeah, headlights on all the way, really. We on. Right, so I think on the way, I'm going to try and explore some of the surrounding houses... I think it's called Dixie. I'm not 100% though. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Um, I think I've been to this little town once. I haven't fully explored it. I think I went to the entrance. Oh, God. Oh, that's probably damaged the hood. Oh, well. Um, I think I've been there once. And yeah, in that time, didn't really accomplish a huge amount. I think I just went to the petrol station, basically. And that was about it. So, um, yeah be interesting to see. I do think there is a is a uh, uh, hardware shop though, which is nice. I'm hoping there's a toy shop. Not 100% though. Oh, there's too many zombies everywhere. Right, we're at the country club. Okay, so we're now opposite where all the houses were. That we explored previously. And hopefully we'll be coming to the exit. Or the end. There we go. Here yeah, we're at the end of the country club. Oh, and there's a river here. I didn't know that. That's cool. Oh, turning. Oh, I wonder what's up there. Um, I don't know what's up there. It must just be Riverside. Oh, God. Let's quickly jump out, have a look, see if there's anything in these cars. I'll take the I'll take the battery. Another battery. Nice. Cool. Okay, well, we've got some, we've got some spare batteries, just in case we ever need spare batteries. Right, so there are, I think, a few farmhouses on the way, so we're going to want to explore them. As and when they pop up. If I find any more metal sheets, I need to fix this car up. Oh, there we go. 
Because I think I've damaged the hood even more now. So, uh, which isn't great. Is that a crack on the window? Oh, no. Ugh. I'm going to need to repair this car at the end of this. I need to keep it pristine. Right, okay. Driving too fast. I need to slow down. Hey, what are we going here? Farming volume 2. Don't need that. Carrot seeds. I'll take the carrot seeds. Average seeds in a sack? Yep. No, nothing else. Um, I could take apart the metal stuff, though, and we could get some um, metal sheets. Why do that? At least this way we could potentially get metal sheets and fix up our, uh, our hood. There you go. Small metal sheet. That'll do. And a metal sheet. That should be enough to fix it up. Okay, let's have a little look under the hood. Oh, God. Oh, I really damaged it. Oh, okay. Uh, repair. Okay. Yeah, that's not great. Mm. Okay, I'm going to have to be careful of that and fix it up as I go. We do have a second metal sheet, so I could fix the hood up a little bit more. Maybe really, that's all it did? It'll do more than that. Oh, well. Okay. Well, we've repaired it a bit. Not a huge amount, but it will do. All right, let's go raid these houses. Hello? Anyone home? Doesn't look like it. Oh, it's one of the ones with the nice red fridges. Right, what have we got then? Some lunch. Lunch boxes. Oh, a rotten banana in there. Lovely. Canned peas. Don't mind if I do. Disassemble that. Any books? Any books at all? Take them. I, I need to remember to take apart stuff as I go as well, just for the uh, carpentry skill. Right, okay, that'll do. We'll uh, fill up the water while we're here. I guess on to the next one. Door a zombie in that window. Right. All good. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. Take the shotgun. Shotgun, shells, jar lids. That's an amazing find. I've been quite lucky this series. Like, I, I found quite a few of those boxes of jar lids. I thought they were meant to be quite rare, but I seem to have found... Is it two now? Two or three. I think it's, I think it's two. But still, it's a really... Really lucky. Uh, strawberry seeds. Yeah, we'll take the other propane torch. Anything in here? Soap. A ham radio. Do I get lots of experience with dismantling ham radios? We'll see. We've already got one. We've got quite a lot of stuff for it, so that's not too bad. Um, we need a farming volume three if we find it, because I don't have one of them. I'm kind of stuck until I get it. Chuck everything in the cart and on to the next lot. Here we go. Oh, it's just a single place. Right, lovely stuff. Oh, it's locked. Um, okay. Probably need our trusty propane torch then. Oh no, hang on. We need an ha we need an axe or something. Don't we to break it down? Oh, uh, okay. We well, don't have one of them. Hello, I hear someone banging. Hello, who's banging? Oh, you seem to have a knife in your shoulder. Hunter's knife. Oh, what was that? Another cordless phone. Stand all that. I don't think they're used for anything. Collectible die-cost truck. A burger one. Yes, that's a massive find. Pencil. Not really fussed. Disassemble the bed. Assemble that. I'll take the hiking bag just in case we need it for extra storage or something down the line. For antibiotics, antidepressants. I will take both of them. Ooh. Another weird house key with a number on it. Don't know what that means. If any of you know what that means... Just let me know, because I find it really strange. I don't know whether it means I've already found that particular type of key. I'm not quite sure, really. Rotten eggs. Carry on disassembling stuff when I, while I remember to. Lazy couch. Do I want the lazy couch? Looks very lazy. We could take it. We don't have a sofa. But we have one now. There we go. Okay, we've uh, we've got ourselves a full set of furniture, guys. Okay, we're starting to get a bit tired. Can we um, did we take apart all the beds? I think we did, didn't we? We're an idiot. And we've got this chair left. Let's sleep in the chair. Uh, it's a shame about this. Can we just hit it with a hammer? I don't know how long this will take. Probably a while. 
Oh, there we go, we did it. Cool. Uh, we've got a walkie-talkie. Small metal sheet, potentially fixing stuff up again. Welding rods and some scrap electronics and some cigarettes. Okay, well, it's not, not great, but better than nothing. Okay, right, now that we've explored there, that's, uh, let's keep going. Well, it's already been a success. We found one die diecast truck, so happy about that. Be nice if we can find some other bits and bobs like that. We'd be very happy. Um, or well, anything to do with the railway model train set. I doubt I'm going to find any of this episode, but it would be amazing if I did. Right, it's starting to get late, so I think I'm going to want to rest up at the next house we come across. Oh, that, that looks like a turning to a house. Um, if I find another nice car like a Land Rover or something, I might take some of the parts off and then I can um, replace the parts as I go. I think that would be quite cool to do. Uh, very hungry. Okay, this looks like a nice little place. We've got a couple of sheds. Nice. Okay, let's have a look. A generator in there. That's always nice. Uh, disassemble that. Take that. Human walkie-talkie. Let's take the yellow light bulb. Charcoal and solder wire. I do want to keep the charcoal for winter when it's we need to burn stuff up, so I'm happy to do that. Okay, on to the next shed. What have we got in here? Metal working two, metal working four. Already read them. Some thread. Yes. And nails. Yes. Metal sheet. Yes. Another empty gardening spray can. Yes, please. Another metal sheet. Can fix up the car a bit more. Okay, right. That looks like that was it. So let's head on into the main house now. There we go. Okay, all of that is good. Take the can opener just in case we find anything we need. Ooh. Remote controller. I'll take that. Oh, it looks like we found another um engineer's place. That's cool. Ooh, more rotten eggs. Yes, please. Anything in here? Mm, I'll take them. Assemble the large bed. Right, that's a uh, dump everything in the car, and then hopefully by that point we'll be tired enough to go to sleep. And then we can head on to town in the morning, hopefully, if I can find my way. Quickly check under the bonnet, see what's going on here. We can't fix the windscreen, obviously. We could repair the hood. Chance success, 94. Potential repairs, 16. Okay, trunk lid. So the hood, how much? Oh, okay. No, we won't bother with that one. Uh, this is the lo the hood is the lowest one. Chance of success, 94. There we go, okay. That's fine. We've uh, fixed that up a bit. It's no longer really damaged. Can we just fix it up again? We did have another metal sheet. Oh, only seven. Or four, even. Oh, that's not very good. We did have another uh, light bulb, didn't we? Yeah, let's grab one of them. Replace the uh, nearly gone one. There you go. Let's just drop that one on the floor. There we go. Well, a little bit more fixed up. Shame about the uh, the screens and everything, but it's fine. Let's rest up. Right, let's disassemble the bed while we're here. Might as well. Because I don't think we're going to come back here. Let's just assemble everything. Why not? Right, okay. I've had enough of this place. Let's go. Now, I'm thinking what I'm going to actually do is... I'm hoping, from what I've been told, that shotguns are significantly better for just killing zombies. Handguns are only really good for a distraction. And the Sawn-Off is better at close range, like I was, and probably better for, like, kind of worse players than me. Because my, my skills are not great for, uh, for guns. Let's have a look. Um, does it actually say in here? Just firearms. It's just aiming and reloading is just guns in general, is it? So, yeah, we didn't go, get up a huge amount last episode from um, doing all that stuff. But we did get up a level, and we got up nearly a level in reloading. So... I'm thinking maybe if we uh, just get out the shotgun. Oh, oh, that'll damage everything. No, we're fine. We're fine. I think we slowed down just enough. Um, if I get out the shotgun and just, I don't know, go around the circle distracting them, that might that might work. And we must be nearly there, surely. There is a little house up there, but I can't be bothered. I just want to get into the main town now. Right, let's attach to our back. We will unpack all of them. We will pop them in there. Okay, here we go. Where are we? Are we somewhere? Are we anywhere? We are at our burger place. Right, okay. I've had enough of you zombies. Go away. Oh, that's how you do it. <laughs> okay, so. Let's, uh, let's go to the main road, I think, and just walk down. 
and hopefully that'll uh, distract them. I'll need, we need to have some snacks. Quickly, stop everything. We need to eat some crisps. Right, stop. And fine. Oh, that's a bit better. And I'm just going to keep doing this, I think. It seems to work quite well. Apparently, if you aim actually at the zombie with the mouse curse, you're more likely to hit them. So, uh... Like that, I guess. Oh god. No! Oh my god, that was close. Oh! Oh, I'm going to need to go get my hat. Oh, my poor hat. Oh, leveled up in sunning. This is really good, though. I'm surprised I haven't used these before. Yeah, these are very, very cool. <laughs> Ready. Boom. 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 Oh, there's so many still. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get my, my hard hat back again. Doesn't need to be that many left, though. I'm out of ammo again. Okay. I've only got 48 shells left. To make them count. Try and round them up again, I suppose. That was, that was very close. Didn't like that. Okay, but now we should be able to kill a lot more. Oh god. Too close. Too close. Hey, is that all of them? That looks like most of them. Um, I'm actually kind of taken, up, taken aback. That was, uh, that was a lot easier than I thought. Okay. Right. Let's get out our uh, our bleachy water. We'll have a quick quick snacky. We'll see if there's anything decent. We've got three of them to take apart. Nice. Oh, God. Okay. You just appeared from nowhere. Oh, God. Here they all come. <laughs> right. I thought I'd got rid of you all. Apparently not. Am I completely out of... Uh... Okay. I'm completely out. Right, I guess I have to run around them, I guess. How many are there? Lots and lots and lots. Oh god, here they all come. Ugh, okay. At least we can, um... At least we just lured them down there, we can now just run away. And hopefully, this is most of the ones from... From Dixie. As long as we can actually get back to our, our Range Rover, we're fine. Right, okay. Can we, uh... We're not overcome, so we're fine. And luckily, our fitness has... Has our fitness actually gone up now? Oh, it's still not up. Oh, come on. That would have helped. I wanted to get my hard hat back. God knows how far away that is. That's a leather jacket that's in decent condition. I take it. Thank you. Uh, spear with hunting knife? Sure. Are any back there still? A few. Right, okay. Keep going. There's my hard hat. There we go. Right. Um, actually, can we wear it, please? That'd be nice. There we go. Um, the problem is we're going to come across quite a few now. And we're starting to get tired. Oh, there we go. Thank God. Oh, I knew it couldn't be that far. It's like Logan's doppelganger. Okay, so we took out quite a few of them. Pretty happy with that. Um, how many did we actually kill? Because I'm I'm interested. We're on like 500 odd. Yeah, we took out nearly. It's about 250 odd. That's um. That was a lot of zombies. I don't know what the population is for uh, around here, but I think we did pretty well to be honest, considering. 
There is a camper van. I kind of need that. I want that. I'm wondering whether we can find a place to crash and call it a day. Oh, apparently not here, because there's a load there. One, maybe, maybe one round here? God, there's so many zombies. Oh, no, okay, we're at a dead end. Okay, I was hoping we could have, uh, could have found somewhere, but apparently not. There's just too many of them. Right, how about here? Has anyone seen me? A couple of zombies coming in from over there. Well, how about we try and lose them over this fence, then, and go into this one? Okay, well, he's seen me. Let's let him come in. Come on, don't be shy. Close the curtains. We'll presume that everything is fine. There's quite a lot of food. Oh, there's a hand axe. I might take that anyway. I'm just going to quickly have a look, see if there's anything... Another hand axe, that's quite cool. Right, is there anything in here? Yes. Vitamins are pretty big, actually. Right, I'm going to shut this, this door, and that's me done. A model... Oh my god. We actually found the train set. Oh. I can't believe that. I honestly can't believe that that's the thing we find in the bedroom that we're going to stay the night in. How amazing is that? Right. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been a interesting one we've killed pretty much 300 odd zombies this episode 250 odd zombies i think this episode so we've done pretty well to be honest um we are look at our aiming we leveled up nearly three levels in aiming nearly another well we leveled up pretty much a whole level in reloading we've done well we've done really well tomorrow i'm going to try and start the process of raiding this place slowly but surely it's going to take a long time there's a lot of zombies and annoyingly we got through all of our all of our ammo which was a lot of ammo um which is a massive shame so actually i'm just gonna have to put that away because i don't need it anymore but thank you so much for watching guys if you like we've seen please leave a like and subscribe if you've got any feedback comments or you've got any ideas of the best way to clear out all these zombies just let me know yeah i'm gonna need all the help i can get really so thank you so much for watching, guys and i'll see you in the next one cheers bye bye